Hi, my name is Leslie Eppinghouse. I'm a horticulturist here at the Lady Bird Johnson Wildfire Center. A lot of people don't realize how many different species of native bees we have here in North America, but right now we have about 50 bee species that are in decline. So the role of native plants in relationship to the um, prosperity of our native bees is really crucial. One of the reasons why it's helpful to have native plants in your garden to promote bees and promote other pollinators to your space is that we have a wide variety of shapes and sizes and seasonal bloom times that correspond to our bees that live here regionally. So now that our temperatures are starting to drop and we're entering the season of fall, it's a great time to plant annual seeds for bees, but you'll wanna keep an eye on the skies. And when you're planting those annual seeds, you either wanna do it when we get a good rain, but then keep in mind that when the temperatures increase again, as they always do in September, and sometimes even in October, you want to make sure that those seedlings, um, they germinate with water, so you may have to do some extra watering to make sure they germinate. And then even when they're very young through the winter, keep an eye on the skies, and if it gets too dry, don't hesitate to water them. Um, so you'll want to treat them just like you would a new plant. Great annual seeds for bees right now to plant would be standing cypress, basket flower, or partridge pea. Fall is also a terrific time to plant most of our perennials. Again, it's a little bit early right now in September, and so we usually do our fall plant sale in early October so that folks get the idea that then would be a good time to plant those perennials. Terrific perennials for bees come in all different shapes and sizes. Our bees come in all different shapes and sizes, which a lot of people don't know. So the bumblebees are large bees, and then we have all sorts of different tiny bees that need tiny flowering plants from early spring all the way through to summer. So the key with planting plants to bring in pollinators is diversity, diversity. So think about small plants such as frog fruit or a black dahlia. Those have tiny little blooms that bloom from very early spring until almost all the way through fall and into winter. So behind me, you can see the mealy blue sage. And if you look closely, it's covered in bumblebees. So that is a neat plant that produces blooms again from pretty mid spring all the way through to fall. So things in the salvia and mint family and sage family are always good for bees. Mallows are terrific, so hibiscus, rock rose, all the different mallows. Turk's cap is a great bee plant for shade. And then as well as the fabiaceae or the legume family. So think about all the legumes like the sennas and um, then go up into the skies, the desert willow. So don't forget your trees. You've got huisatch trees, which is also a legume. Blanco crabapple is a great fruit plant, and then our beautiful Mexican plum, which is a great big towering tree, but it has blooms all the way to the tippy top. Other big stellar ones is any plant that has the name bee in it. So bee balm, monarda is another annual, kind of going back to annual. You can either do it by plant or by seed. And things like bee brush or kidney wood are some of the more, not so much commercial, they're commercially available, but they're more of our wild plants that provide for bees. If you want to know more about the bees in your area, there are some great resources out there here locally. My favorite is the JAW Institute, and that's J-H-A. That's out of the University of Texas, and it is a really terrific resource for learning all about what types of bees are here in your area and what type of habitat your bees need. And then also, if you go to the Lady Bird Johnson Wildfire Center, website under plants, we do have a whole list of collections of plants that are designed specifically for different things. So you'll see that there's a collection of plants specifically for bumblebees. You'll see collection of the plants for all pollinators. And then you'll also see a collection of plants for general native bees.